All right, and we're back. Today we got another new one, uh, the two-piece Eastern Alpha. Uh, but I like the Resmondo, the new one. This is the 232 technology. It's also loaded. Same size barrel, 12 and 3 quarter. Uh, the only difference is this does have the connection piece. Um, so if it's anything like the previous years, uh, it's probably going to have a little bit of flex where the one piece doesn't have any. Uh, hoping to have to see the same performance that we've seen in the Resmondo. We're going to test it, put swings on it, let you know what we think. All right, so before we hit it, we'll test both sides, see where it's at. Okay, we got about 280 on this side. Let's test the other side real quick. Zero. And about 280 again. Here we go. That was good. That sounded good. Got that crack sound, ain't it? Get one, Pete. Yeah, make sure you put that in there because I said your name. That two gear? Found it! Yeah. Tell my motor. One slash six slash seven hitter. <laughs> Inside. Outside. Oh. Chain lane. I'm gonna kick rock on third. Put out of here. Woo! Wait, that got that quick. Yeah, it feels good. Just a little flex. Great. 
You hit it perfect, it's got that loud, loud sound, but the sweet spot, the, the one piece I feel like has a bigger sweet spot. See that, the balls jumped off, but like, it didn't have that, wow. yeah, it didn't have that claw, like you missed it. I mean, balls flying, but like one out of, you can tell when you like really heat it. Dip it. That's good. Like you get that sound out of it every couple swings. There you go. I'll pick it up. I got out of here too. Like that ball's out of here, but yeah. like it don't almost like I'm missing it. I don't know, maybe he still didn't get that. Wow. Yeah, I mean, they're getting out. There it goes. Yeah. It's like very small, it's a thin line between. Burl and miss, but the miss still go. There it goes again. I don't know. Yeah. I'm trying to burl a little bit. Okay. All right, so we're 50, 75 swings. I'll just check it real quick. Let's see, bring it up. 250 on that side. Spin it. And 250 on that side. There you go. All right, there you have it. Uh, 50, 75 swings. Bat still passing around 250 on both sides. Uh, not much has changed from last year's tantrum. Uh, this is basically the new technology for it. It's got, a little, like I said, it's, it's a little bit stiffer barrel. It's not that soft, mushy feel um, like the Tantrums had. Uh, same two-piece connection um, and the same soft and off. I will say for, for me, this was a 26 ounce, so it was a little light. The sweet spot was a little bit small. When you hit it, you could hear it in the video. You probably can catch those couple of swings where it really had that loud crack and then some of the other ones had a dull sound. It, it still performed. When you don't hit it, but when you hit it, it's got this a uh, beautiful sound to it. Uh, now we were hitting into some heavy wind. I think the app said we was hitting like 17 miles per hour wind, so the balls just didn't fly like normal. But that's not on the bat. Uh, we just had some rough conditions, but we need to go ahead and get this review in. Um, but basically, this is the new new line to last year's tantrum with the two three technology. Not much has changed, uh, but they figured out how to make it hold compression a little bit better. Last year's tantrums. Uh, almost failed immediately, um, even though they hit good. These are hitting just as good and they're holding compression. Um, so not much to change. If you like last year's two-piece tantrum um, and it's failing compression or you just want to try something new that feels pretty much the same, just so grab an apple. New technology, just as good, holding compression a lot better. And all in all, Easton's just continue to make a good bat. There you have it.